Today we're just going to give you a breakdown of one of our systems. This system is designed to be very small, yet very efficient. It's very compact. And we'll show it to you and uh, break it down for you real quick. Okay, so over here, this is our filtration system. This is like a sump tank for this system right here. We have a foam fractioner, a swirl filter over here, a UV sterilizer, and this is our bio filter. It's actually a fluidized filter, but the bio media is moved by water instead of air. So this whole system is ran by, it's pretty simple, it's ran by two water pumps and one air pump. So let me show you our foam fraction. So the water comes up through here, and this actually has biomedia in it, and there's a drain here. So the water flows down at a rapid rate, and that creates friction, which creates foam, which builds up here, and it comes out of the pipe into our five gallon bucket, and this is some of the stuff that came out of it already. I just emptied it out. And the clean water goes back into the tank. Okay, and you guys have probably heard of those before. These are really simple. The water just goes into this barrel and it swirls around in a circle. The detritus lands at the bottom and then you have a drain at the bottom and you just open up the drain and the detritus flows out. And you could even have that flow into your grass, you know, so the water is not being wasted from the water. It's nutrient rich water. Okay, and now we will show you some of our tanks up here we have three we have three 300 gallon tanks this one here is for our filtration and then we have one for a tilapia grow out and then the next one further down is for our giant australian red claws that's a grow out for them and then over here on the other side we have four 150 gallon tanks now, all four of these tanks are dedicated to red claw breeding colonies. We have our breeding colonies in here. And those are really good size for a decent sized breeding colony. And then, above those tanks, we have our 50 gallon stock tanks. And these are actually pretty good size if you want to raise, um, if you want to have a tilapia breeding colony in here. We actually have a couple breeding colonies in here instead of inside. And it actually works pretty well. We have some Mozambique tilapia in this tank right here. They're a little hard to see because they blend in with the bottom. And you can see all the algae on this tank. If you wanted to have like an algae scrubber of some sort, this would actually work because, you know, and the sun hits it too. The sun comes down and this grows a lot of algae, which eats the ammonia, the nitrite, the nitrate, the phosphate. So this works really well. And we have all our, a lot of our fingerlings and fry in this particular system. Um, so the, these are Mozambique fingerlings, and if you go down further left, we can see blue fingerlings, another a little bit hard to see. And if you go down further, we have our red tilapia fingerlings, which are really easy to see because they're a bright color. And then you come down further, and you have our golds. And you come down further and you have more gold. And then here's some of our breeding colonies over here. We got one here. And we have a couple over here. And as you can see, this is a really small, compact system. It's very easy to operate and own. And you can produce a lot of food. You can produce thousands and thousands of fish and lobsters in here. So this is a really great system. Thanks for watching.